up, get ready. Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, America. Good morning to you. It's Monday, a beautiful day in the neighborhood. And here's what's happening in celebrity news, y'all. Comedian Eddie Murphy, y'all, is being reported, Ricky, that he has apologized for his old jokes, y'all. He called them ignorant. Now, they're saying, honey, uh, Murphy, um, his iconic stand-up shows, Raw and Delirious, y'all, would not be acceptable in the current politically correct era. They're saying while promoting his upcoming movie, Dolomite, they say he said the following, quote, I was a young guy processing a broken heart, you know. He said kind of a butthole, he said, of this um, controversial stand-up, which have been labeled as both homophobic and misogynistic. Now, they're saying Mark Murphy also stated, y'all, and, he, and he's slated to host an upcoming episode of Saturday Night Live, which is soon, and, you know, and he went on and on to the break of dawn. What is the world coming to? Uh, uh, sensitivity. I, 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 yeah, two cents. And I, I'm just being Jesus. honest. I'm a comic. And I watched that back then. Uh, now, com- comedians can talk about fat people, skinny people, black people, white people. But you got to apologize for talking about gay people. Mm-hmm. Now, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying poor people, rich people. Yeah. Just, just, it's the, 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 what are we supposed to do? Like, why do certain people, like, there should be, like, certain tabernacles which you can enter. We're like, listen, this is a judgment-free zone. You can wild out. You can say what you want. This is amongst us. If you laugh, you laugh. Because, like, you know, when you tell jokes, no one takes any of that stuff literally. As you shouldn't. You know, and I don't think you even have to give a prerequisite, honey, uh, um, before you even tell the jokes and stuff. Back then, I mean, it was a now joke. you got to go all the way back. Yeah. And, and, and apologize or whatever. You know, now everybody has... You know, kind of uh, made amends to whatever the time is now, and mm-hmm. yeah. the way people handle things now. But to go all the way back and apologize uh, for something or whatever, and I don't know, and I don't think it was vicious. I thought it no, it was, it was a joke. It was it, a sign. It, it was a, it was a sign of the times, like where we yeah. were back then. Right. Yeah. I mean, so I, I, I just don't know. But Brad, have you ever had to apologize for some of those songs you sang or anything yeah, back no. in the day? No. You know, I mean. So it's just I, and I'm I not know. bashing anybody in the songs either. Yeah, and it wasn't. I don't think it's so much of a bash neither. I mean, it, it's well, I, I don't know. Ricky, Ain't nobody say kill gay people or yeah. hurt them or when you see them shoot them. Nobody yeah. saying that, right? Yeah, so, you, but, you know what I'm saying? We talk, you mm-hmm. know, when you were talking about being poor and talking about your grandma and talking about I'm making hamburger better than McDonald's. You know, yeah. I went through that and I found all of that funny, even though we was poor and broke and didn't really have a whole lot. I didn't get offended. Right. By yeah. it, or him talking about skinny people or. I didn't uh, get offended when he was talking about the queen that was on the, wasn't it, when she did the police siren on the car. Ree, ree, ree. Yeah, I, I, I was, yeah, I was cranking up. Yeah, me too. So <laughs> pull over. Yeah, yeah, pull over. Pull over. over. <laughs> That's what the girls you have the right to remain silent. Yes, yeah, <laughs> pull over, niece. Pull over. <laughs> So child, but anyway, we're gonna see. How, and then you know he's doing this new movie. And you remember, Miss Andy Cohen said something about something to that comedian that was on the show on um, that day. And uh, they fell out with that guy because the guy said, you know, Eddie apologized, and he went through all that. And that was back then. So nevertheless, that's neither here nor there. That so was a sucker gonna, move for Andy to even yeah, try to pull out. Exactly, honey. This girl, honey, trying to be slick. But anyway, all right, we're gonna see how this all turn out, child. All right, moving on. Another celebrity news, y'all. It's being reported y'all that Kenya Moore from Real Housewives of Atlanta is alleged, y'all. That she said that she is done with black men and she's dating white men only. Now, they're saying, honey, that Kenya Moore from the Real Housewives of Atlanta is in the midst of a bitter divorce with her husband of two years, Mr. Mark Daly. And they're saying that the couple welcomed their beautiful daughter, Miss Brooklyn, into the world just 10 months ago, less than a year and all that. But they're saying now that the only thing is for Miss Kenya, they're saying it's being reported, y'all, that they learned that Kenya is telling her friends that, you know, she's going forward and she's done with African American men. Now, they're saying Kenya, who is a millionaire, a businesswoman, and a gorgeous former Miss USA has had trouble finding an African American man to settle down with all her life. And now, honey, they're saying that the Bravo reality star is preparing to try something new. Now, so they're saying Kenya has exclusively dated black men, and, and she's met quite she a is few. Absolutely losers. correct. Yep. Because it, you, you, you look like a fool doing the same thing, expecting different results. If that don't work for you, yeah. if that don't work for you, you have a right to happiness. And whatever it takes to make you happy, I don't get mad, and I ain't intimidated when I see a black woman with a white man or a Latino man or an Asian man. As long as I can look in her face and she, and she got a beautiful smile on her face and she's happy mm-hmm. or whatever, I was sitting next to some folks on a, a plane like that, a mixed couple yesterday, and that lady was happy. That dude was a gentleman to her, was treating her with the utmost respect. As long as uh, she's respected and treated like the queen she is, 
That makes me happy, and that's it. I don't care who she date. Are black women still queens when they with my, white men? Are they still queens? Yeah, they're going to always be a queen. Oh, okay, because I don't know. But they ain't going to have no white baby. The baby going to be black. Yeah, oh, yeah, well, yeah, most definitely so. So anyway, well, congratulations to Kenya. I mean, because it is hard for an African-American woman to find a, a man. I ran into a couple on Saturday, well, a woman. She was looking for a wedding dress, and uh, she's getting married. I'm like, girl, y'all still getting married? I didn't know people still getting Tell married. a black lady getting married to marry a white man? No, a black man. I didn't know that was still happening. Who was he married? Oh, I want to ask who he was, but, you know, she was looking for a dress. So, I mean, he got a job. It is a job, then, because looking for a dress. And stuff that you know they ain't Yeah, shit. people still get married. People are still really? in love. Love is still out there. You still have a chance. Really? Well, yeah, huh. but you just everybody keep going to the wrong place looking for love. Yeah. Love ain't in the strip club. They don't love you. Yeah. They want you to make it rain. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I guess. Going so. up in there talking about will you marry me and then she turn around and make her booty clap. That ain't oh. love. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's some kind of somebody might like that love, but child. I, I, I remember I remember the first time I went to uh I went to Marvin Dixon took me to the Rolex. Mm-hmm. That's the first time I ever heard uh, the lady came outside. He said, hey, she had on some tights. And she started jumping up and down and made her booty clap. Me and Darius Bradford just looked at each other like, what in the world? I never thought a woman booty could clap like that. My Lord. Hadn't been the he same since, so. Gary. You hadn't. I, hadn't been the same. I know, my Lord. I was holy, <laughs> devout Christian. Marvin Dixon just ruined my whole life. You just ruined your life, John. That was the devil, honey. <laughs> 22 years old, my first strip club at the Rolex. Then he took me to Coco's where they had $5 lap dance. Well, just think, though, so you just um, triggered down it because you ruined my damn life when you took me to the strip club here. That oh, yeah, I took you to the strip club. Now, you're going to get offended when the strip uh Everybody know you from the morning show. She just heard, hey, Gary. She ain't had no show. Was Juicy with us? Yes. yes Juicy yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. Gary said, huh? Oh, bitch, get off me. Oh, bitch, get off me. Oh, bitch, get off me. I didn't know that she was naked. I love Gary and his teeth. Gary with